everyone, I'm back. Sorry I've been away for a while. I've been working on some really exciting projects. I'm gonna tell you a bit more about that uh, coming soon, but if you follow my Twitter, link is below. I'll post some more information about that, how the work's coming along, and uh, you can find out more information on that. Okay, so in this computer tutorial, we're gonna be working on a holding page. A holding page is usually the page that you have when you've bought the domain name, um, but obviously you don't yet have any anything to put on the website because you're still designing the site. The main things we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be learning about CSS3 text shadow. This can add a really nice effect to your holding page because obviously a holding page is fairly simple. It's just got a logo and a bit of text but we want to make it look as nice and clean as possible. The second thing we're going to be doing is search engine optimization. This is really important. Obviously, if the site hasn't yet launched, you want to make sure it gets onto Google, Bing, Yahoo, MSN, all these search engines. Um, you want to make sure it gets there before you launch so that as soon as you launch, it's already on the search engines. We're also going to be uh, doing logo positioning and uh, some other nice effects that you can add to your holding page. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, we're going to make a new folder. Um, and we're going to call this holding page. You can call it whatever you want. Um, and this is just so we can sort of keep organised um, what we want. Obviously the folder is now empty. So the first thing, we, first thing we're going to do uh, is create a new notepad document. This is going to be the HTML. So HTML head uh, link rel equals style sheet uh, href equals style.css. So we're going to create a style sheet and link it in. We're going to create the title. Uh, now this is important for your SEO, so bear in mind what you want people to search into Google um, to find you. So I'm going to say Ed's Computer Tutorials. So if people type that into Google, they should hopefully find my site. Close the head, open the body. Um, we're going to close the body now just to start with, just so we can then focus on filling the body um, with content. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, we're going to say website coming soon. So this is very, very basic for a holding page. You'll see how basic in a sec. So we file save as, make sure we find the folder. So where is it? Holding page. Going to save it as index.html. Uh, save it. And then we're going to just drag it over so we can see the folder. There we go. Open it up and we'll see just how basic it is. There we go. So it's got the title and it's got text. Um, so it's looking fairly shabby to start with. So we are now going to um, create the, the style sheet, the CSS style sheet. So we're going to open a new notepad document um, and we're going to just do body, shift across, uh, background colours and then we can add, we're going to make it a grey so you can either do uh, CCC, CCC but actually we're going to start with a darker grey so a, 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 and see what that's like. Font family, we're going to uh, make it Arial and sans serif. Um, it's just slightly nicer than the Times New Roman default, I find. And then we're going to close that. File, save. We're going to save it into the same in the same folder as style.css, because remember that's what we linked it with in the HTML. Press refresh, you can see the background's changed, the font's changed. So it's already looking slightly better, but it's it's not great, I'm going to be honest. We're actually going to change the background colour to a lighter grey. So CCC, CCC. There we go. It's become a bit lighter. We now want to do something with this awful text. It's just looking really shabby. So we're going to do div class equals T1, which is short for text1. Close the div. Uh, press file, save. Go back to the style. Now we've got to create T1. So dot T1. This is a custom tag. Font size, and we're going to make it a big font size. So it stands out. We're going to do 60 pixels. Uh, then we're going to do uh, text align, and we're going to align it in the center of the document, in the center of the site. It's going to just make it look a whole lot smarter. We're going to close it, file, save, and we're going to quickly see what that looks like. There we go. So already it's starting to look better. Again, it's still not great, but it's work in progress. It's far better than what we started with. We're going to add a bit of padding uh, at the top, so we're going to do a margin actually at the top. Margin top, uh, 30 pixels, file, save, just so we shift it down a bit. So there's a bit of spacing, we're going to add more spacing actually because there's nothing going on on this site. So we can add 100 pixels of spacing. Refresh, there you go. Um, it's, it's starting to fill the site a bit more, but we're actually going to do 200 just so we shift it down so it's more centrally aligned so it looks like there's a bit more going on. There's actually nothing more going on, but if we keep all the content in a corner of the site, it's not going to look very good. Now we're going to actually add a bit of colour to this. So we're actually going to make it white. Um, file, save, we're going to see what the text looks like when it's white. It looks a bit cleaner um, and we're going to now add a text shadow. So this is the CSS3, so text-shadow um, and the first one is 
um, to the left or the right, and the second one is to the height above or below. So this is going to be minus one, so it's going to be to the left, and it's going to be minus one above. And then we're going to add the color. So file save, refresh, um, and you can see you can you might be able to see a subtle style is starting to happen. We're going to make this more prominent, so we're going to make it nine 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 nine. This is the colour of the shadow. So there we go, we can now see there's definitely some shadow there and it looks like it's sort of got given the text a bit of an embossed look. So that's starting to look really nice, really clean and fresh and it looks like we've made an effort on the text. We can add five pixels, this is um, the uh, sort of how broad it goes. So we can see now it's, it's sort of, um, I've forgotten the official term, it's sort of spaced it out a bit. Um, we can change the font size, we're going to make it bigger and we're actually going to do a font weight and we're going to make it bold as well so it's slowly starting to come together refresh and take another look, so yeah that's looking really nice but actually we're going to take away the um, the spread that's what I was looking for, we're going to take it away, we're going to make it zero pixels so it's just a really clean embossed look and we're going to make it a darker um, colour too so there you go, you can see there's definitely a really nice um, text shadow on that text and it just looks so much nicer than just having plain flat text. It looks like we've given it some, some sort of attitude if you like. We're going to now create the second uh, custom tag which we're going to call T2. Font size, we're going to make this smaller, so we're going to make this 20 pixels. We're going to have uh, text align again in the centre. We're then going to do a margin above it of uh, 50 pixels. We're going to do a colour and we're going to make it white again. We're going to see what that's like. Um, and then text shadow, we're going to add another shadow, minus one pixel, and then actually we only want it to be minus one, and then zero and zero, and then 999999. And feel free to play around with text shadow, see what happens when you change the different uh, values. Um, and now we're going to add in to the HTML div class T2, sorry, not 5.2, T2, there we go. This is going to be our, our smaller text telling everyone a bit more about what's what's happening with the site. So welcome, unfortunately this site is still in development. Uh, please come back in October, this October. Um, and then make sure we obviously close the div. So close div or div. File, save, press refresh or F5 and there you go. We can see it's now added um, with 50 pixels above it. Um, but we can actually make it a bit bigger, the font. Um, and we're going to change the colour as well. We're going to change it to black. File, save, refresh. And that's standing out a bit more. So that's nicer. Uh, it's a nice contrast. Um, but actually, we can make it less harsh of a contrast. We're going to make it a dark grey instead. So F5 for refresh. There we go. That's looking nice. We can change the shadow to a white shadow. See what that looks like. There we go, that's looking really, really fresh now. Uh, again, looks like we made an effort. We can make it a bit bigger, so we're going to make it 26 pixels in, in on the font size. There you go, that's already looking like a really nice holding page. Simple, effective, informative, um, and sort of it, it tells everyone what the site offers. Um, what we're going to do now is we're actually going to add a logo. So I've quickly copied and pasted a logo um, into the folder. And this is actually a logo from uh, the project I'm working on. So I've just copied that into the same folder. And there you go, if we open it up, we can see what the logo looks like. Um, so we're going to add this into the HTML now. So img src equals logo.png. Um, and then we are going to actually have, add a div around it. So div class, it's going to be another custom one. So logo, close it. And then we obviously need to write in the div. But if we just refresh it, obviously you can see it's just gone off to the left, it hasn't been centrally aligned, so this is where we need to add the logo into the CSS. So logo, text align, again we want it in the center, so text, hyphen align, sorry my typing is awful today, center, <laughs> um, then we want to do margin at the top, so we want again a margin at the top to shift it down a bit, just to add a bit more spacing. Again, feel free to play around with these values, so 50 pixels. We're going to change this one now to 50 pixels. So there's 50 pixels above the logo, then there's going to be 50 pixels below the logo. There we go. And there you go, it's, it's looking really nice, centrally aligned. Oops, sorry, I've highlighted it. Logo, a bit of text, and then the detailed text telling everyone about what the deal is with the website.
Um, now we are going to do uh, search engine optimization on this. We're going to add a bit of search engine optimization. Of course, you can do more, but these are just a few uh, sort of essentials that you want to add into your holding page, and you want to make sure it's there. So we're going to go back to the HTML. Um, we're going to do meta name equals keywords and description. Um, oh, sorry, no, we don't want to add description. Um, no, we don't. Sorry, ignore that. Right, I'm going to start again. <laughs> we want to add meta name equals keywords and then we want to do the content of this so this is going to be what the keywords are that people are going to search on Google and hopefully find us so I'm going to do Ed's computer tutorials it's best not to add punctuation into this um, and then we add a comma with each one so every time you want to add a new keyword so PC tutorials computer tutorials anything relevant to your website don't add a load the more you add the less um, sort of specific the site's going to become so you want to add maybe five or ten um, then we're going to do the second meta, um, which is going to be meta name equals description. This is the description that will appear on the search engine. Um, and make sure again it's relevant. Um, so the content of it is going to be it's going to be sort of one or two sentences sum summarizing what the site is. So Ed's computer tutorials, site coming soon, um, or site coming yeah site coming soon offering, and then tell a bit about what the site offers. Um, high quality computer tutorials um, and then launching October 2012 oh, 13, 12. there we go and that's just sort of an essential that you want with the search engine optimization we're going to file save that it's not going to make any difference to the site but also another tip we're going to add actually is you want to make sure that the site name is included in the text so obviously we haven't added Ed's computer tutorials anywhere so what we can do to quickly fix this we're going to copy that I mean, instead of saying this site, we're going to say Ed's computer tutorial. So every time someone searches that in Google, the, the relevance of it is going to be higher and higher. So there we go. It's, that's looking nicer. But all, also, it's made it a bit wider, um, the text a bit wider. So actually, we can add a line break. Um, so uh, it's all sort of more blocked, blocked um, in blocks. Um, so we're going to just add a br line break in between those two sentences. So. BR, file, save, press refresh, and you can see it's come. It's it's more in a block now. It's more in a nice aligned block. It's looking smart. And there we go. That's our holding page. Uh, don't forget to rate, comment, favorite, and subscribe. And of course, uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments.